Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to do a live stream through YouTube in 2019 with this website called StreamYard. So now we all know that you could easily do a live stream through the YouTube camera, but the problem with the YouTube camera is that you can't like invite your friends and stuff like that like you would with Google Hangouts. And YouTube wants you to um pay for like another it wants you to like pay for another app that you could download. But let's be honest, people don't wanna do that. So in today's video I'm gonna show you guys this website called StreamYard and what it could do. It to put it in short words it's basically like Google Hangouts but I'm gonna show you guys why in this video. So once you get the StreamYard link will be in the description. Just click on it, it will be the first link. Um it's gonna ask you to like add an account. So it's gonna it's gonna bring you to right here like desktop or whatever. Desktop, you know. And then you just have to add your account by going here, clicking on it. And then there's options like YouTube and Facebook and stuff like that. If you want to add a YouTube thing, you just add it by going to YouTube and clicking on channels or channel. And then you click on what email that you want that channel to be associated with. And then let's just go to the bottom here where it says the JJ Show. Um... Let's hit allow. The thing that sucks about this is you can only have one YouTube account and one thing of something else. Like, if I wanted to add one YouTube account and then another YouTube account, it wouldn't let me. See, let's go back to desktop and I'll show you guys. So you guys see how I have this YouTube account. Alright guys, so that was just my friend um, Nathan. He just wanted to know if he could put this on his channel too because he will be a part of the video. So for those of you who are watching this on Nathan's channel, um, subscribe to subscribe to the channel and subscribe to my channel, The JJ Show. So, after you do all that, like I was explaining to you guys before, it won't let you add more than one like youtube account so like let's say i have the jj show now but then i wanted to add the jj tutorials channel it won't let me do that because then it would just pop up saying like you have to pay for it so you could have like one youtube account then a facebook account or one youtube account then a twitch thing but it won't let you have two YouTube things or three YouTube things on on the ad account thing because then you have to pay for the upgrade but if you guys don't want to pay for the upgrade and if you guys don't mind all that then let's just continue with the video anyways after you add the account and stuff go to broadcast then go to create stream and then click on your profile and then let's call this live stream test so i'm just gonna come over here into the google translator live stream test live stream test There we go. I'm just going to copy this. You guys don't have to copy and paste. It's just that it's what's easier for me, so. And then you could have your description. You could put links in your description. All that. If you wanted to um, add a thumbnail... You would just click on this little checkbox right here, scroll down, and then 
like you see this upload in image option you just click on that and then let's just add this image of me you could size it to where you want it or you can basically move it to where you want it but you could also side this thing um, so like, let's say I wanted to size it to like, let's say I wanted to make it big enough to where she's the whole thing. Just give me a minute to size it. There we go. Now I have the whole picture and there's. I just sized the whole thing. So once you have the thing sized, you're gonna wanna just scroll down. Crap, I thought I had the whole... Sorry guys, I have to do it again. All right, I have enough of it sized. So once you have it sized and stuff, you're just gonna want to um, click over here now you have your thumbnail so now you could just continue by scrolling all the way down you could actually schedule your stream and the time that you want your stream and the day that you want your stream but we're not going to do that right now because this is just a test thing so like let's say i wanted to schedule it for today or I would type in the day, like let's say I wanted it scheduled for today or tomorrow, but we're just going to leave it to today and then you could like schedule it on whether you want it at night, night time or the morning, AM or PM, which is pretty cool, you know, I find that awesome. But anyways, once you schedule and stuff, if you want to schedule it, if you don't, that's fine. Just continue where it says create stream. And now you have created your stream. So now you just hit where it says over here like go live and so now it won't let you continue without typing your display name here your display name is basically the thing that popped up on the side so you have to put a display name whether you just want to put like subscribe as your display name or you want to put your actual name as your display name or your YouTube name as your display name. It doesn't matter what you want your display name to be. You just have to put a display name before you continue. But once we have your display name in the text box right here, we just continue. And then to like add your to like add the face cam because as you guys could see it's just black with a background this is just a background I had for the stream but you could easily take that off so let's take that off Take that off for a second. And now. Yeah, just click on the background again, guys. And then. You could take it off to add. A background. If you had the. If you have the pay version. Then you could choose any of these backgrounds. But if you don't have the pay version. Then. You can only choose like this background like the one i just clipped off of 
the one I just clicked off of. Or you could choose, you could go even more down and choose this background. But it won't show up until you have two people added, unfortunately. So, I'm just going to add the two people that I want on the screen. But before I do that, I'm going to show you guys how you could add text. That's right, guys. You could add text. So, you see this little text box right here? You just hit on the edit pen right here. And, like, let's say I wanted a text. I w let's say I wanted a text, like, let's put a brand new text. Um... You would just save it, and then you would add it to the stream. So, it would pop up like that, like a little text box. But you can make it bigger by going back to background right here. Scrolling up. So, scroll up. Keep scrolling up. And then you could adjust the size by just doing that. And then it makes it bigger. You could also change the color of the text box. So you could be like, you see how the text box is blue right now? You just hit on the blue. And then you could change it to like yellow. But... Yeah, so let's switch it to yellow. And now you guys could see how to change the color and stuff like that. Again, this stuff might take me a while to click on, so sorry about that, guys. But I'm pretty sure you guys get the drift and stuff. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see, show you guys how to add people into the stream. Your friends, your YouTube friends, anybody. Whether you're doing an interview with somebody and you want them on the stream. Whether you're trying to, like, interview them live. So, how you add somebody, it's basically just like Google Hangouts. You copy the link and you send it to the people you want to send it to. So, you copy the link, and then, I could send it to my friend Nathan, Hopefully he joins. Once he joins, he, once your friend joins, or once your friends join, you could basically just like that. You basically just hit on the camera. I'll show you guys in a second. So. Hopefully Nathan joined the stream. Let's go check. And that he did. He joined the stream. Um. So let's actually get rid of this text. You could get rid of the text. Like hide the text for now. You just have to click on it again. And to add another text. You just hit the add button. You gotta get the whole thing. To add a friend, you just have your friend right there, and then you have to click on the face cam, and your friend is added. So hey, guys. I just, I just added Nathan. Hopefully, my friend Hope joins. But, 
Oh, if, you, if you actually message so Hope, Hope like, did, did she know that you... That yeah, I told her thing? a while ago that I was doing, like, the stream thing again, so... Yeah. I'm trying to get Hope on here, guys. But, basically, once you have your friends added, or your friend, or an in interview person, or whatever... You just, there are different transitions that you could use, like, so you see how me, Hope, and Nathan are all bunched up together right now? I hate that we are. Hey, Hope. I Hi. kind of hate that we are, so I'm just going to change the, um, the way we are, like, the transition. So, you could have... You could have the transition where you're big and then you're like friends are small. Or you could have the transition where it's like that or that. That one is way better, especially if you're trying to add three people. It's even better with two people because even with two people it's a little bit to like bunch up together but these are my friends that were helping me with the video this video will be on Nathan's channel cuz yeah. like I said in the video the reason why that Skype called for is because he won he wanted to talk to me and then I told him I was doing this video and then he asked if he could put it on his channel too so yeah Hope does have a YouTube channel, but you want me to add it in the description, Hope, or? Uh, it doesn't matter. I'll add her channel link in the description. It's on Hope Reacts. Go check her out. Go check Nathan out. Nathan's life, I'll add him in the description, too. Um, go check my other channel out, The JJ Show, where I do gameplays reactions and all that, that good stuff but anyway guys i'm gonna end the video with this like once you once you're ready you could just hit go live and then basically it goes live on your channel it's gonna ask you if you're sure and everything basically it goes live on your channel so Hey guys, welcome back to the stream. I did need to do this video again, unfortunately, because the first time the stream kind of messed up. You could see the chat through StreamYard if you just click on this first option right here, but I recommend just popping up your chat like through YouTube. Um... So basically, you do that by, let's refresh my thing, you do that by going to your channel page, and I'm on it right now, so we just have to refresh. Oh my god, this is taking a long time. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so as you guys could see, my stream is right there with the thumbnail and everything. So all I would do to pop up the chat is go to my stream. And then... Stream is loading. Got everything taking. Anyways, once you have your stream popped up and everything, to pop up the chat, hello, whoever said this, whoever said it in the stream, I don't have the thing popped up. But Go to pop-up chat down here on the bottom. 
and then it basically makes the chat into a little window on YouTube so that you could see it better. And also on StreamYard, if the text eventually pops up on StreamYard, you could, um, like, let's go to StreamYard and I'll show you guys what I mean. Um, yeah, the text did pop up on StreamYard. So if you're, if a text did pop up on StreamYard and you, like, want to see it, all you would do is hit that, and then it would show you who said hello and stuff like that. Anyway, guys, that is how you do a, a, a stream on StreamYard. This is quick and easy. You don't have to do it through OBS. And in my opinion, it's better because you could invite friends into your stream. So thank you guys for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the channel links in the description. Nathan's channel, my channel, The JJ Show, and Hope's channel. Peace. Peace, guys. Peace out, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.